What's up? Welcome to the post dated video. If you're watching this video, this video was recorded probably 24 hours ago. Yeah, I post recorded and I, you know, upload it later to YouTube. You know, therefore, you guys have content while I'm in the middle of doing things. I'm doing things, doing things. <laughs> now, hmm, that's funny. Society tells you one thing and moves on and do another. Now, ask yourself this: Is it okay to spoil your woman? Now, you might be asking the question, what do you mean spoil? I don't get it. Spoil my woman. What you, I don't get that. How am I supposed to spoil my woman? Well, it's quite simple. Women these days want to be taken out, showered with gifts, and have an extravaganza. And the reason they want these things is because they see it on social media. This is correct. Social media, huge tool when it comes to spoiling people. Now, as it comes to me, I could care either which way it goes. I can care less. See, for me, it's how and what you choose to spoil them with that determines what the relationship is going to be about. Now, if you spoil them with joy and love and appreciation, I'll spoil you in these things. Spoil you in intelligence. Spoil you with things that are going to matter and not going to depreciate in time. I'm not going to buy you something now that in two, three weeks you ain't going to care about. To me, that's foolish. I'm just, I'm, I'm as much to blame for that as you at that point. If that's what we're doing, I just wasn't built that way. My mentality was entirely different. I was built up to do different things. I was carried, I was always carrying myself different. So if it depends on the individual. If you come in treating a woman like that, when a woman says she wants to be spoiled, you you have an answer for the questions. And be like, well, you want to be spoiled, this is how you're gonna be spoiled. Cause if you think spoiling you with riches and all that stuff, and I'm just gonna be throwing money at you. Well, then I don't want to waste your time because you're obviously not the right one. Your mind ain't right. You letting your these reality shows warp your reality. Because reality shows ain't real. <laughs> we, we, we've all figured that out by now, right? They have writers on the set. And y'all sitting there getting sucked in to all of these doggone reality shows. That's what's crazy. That's the crazy part. Is y'all get sucked in. Like all the way in. I ain't joking, man. Y'all, they be like hook, line, and sinker. 10 toes down. Locked in, baby. 
I kid you not, you can't do no wrong. Well, when you can't do no wrong, you know. That's what they look to do. They want to take from you the whole nine. Oh, yeah, later on, we're going to talk about Gil getting pressed. <laughs> well, hell, you might be seeing that video before this. <laughs> getting pressed by Jack on the court. I just not one for nonsense. I never been. If you the type to sit there and gotta keep asking a woman questions about what what should we do, what you don't have a plan. You got a woman want a guy that has ideas. They have the answers. You know, they know where they wanna go. I don't go to a woman and be like, well, what you wanna do? I come and make the suggestion already from the jump. Here's where we're going. This is what's happening. Let's go in here. This is it. Friday, we're doing this. So I'm not giving them the opportunity to plan it. If I ask them their opinion, it's because I always do it. <laughs> you always pick where we go. I want to pick one day. I'll be like, all right, go ahead. You got it. I don't pick her food. Have I ever had a girl try to run up a bill on me? No. It, I don't really have, like, date women that do that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't... It's not like that at all. Like, they don't have that built in them. Like, they're not thinking... They're not thinking, well, let me go ahead and see what I can do here. I don't date too many gold diggers. My thing is that I don't have a lot of time because I'm too busy working on stuff like video. So you have to have an understanding woman who understands what it is that you're doing, uh, your platform, what you're bringing to the table, what you're not bringing to the table. And is it... And is it going to be worth it? At the end of the day, is it going to be worth it? That's what you want to do. You want to make sure it's going to be worth it in the end for you. And that's it. That's the whole kitten caboodle. You gotta, you gotta find that out right away. Me, I don't really like relationships. They, it's not their fault. You know, normal people 
who don't have your type of job or that type of yeah they want somebody to be available to do all these things with them and go out at certain times and do all this stuff that's cool but if lebron james breaks his leg on the basketball court i might have to cancel the date tonight <laughs> We going live. <laughs> I'm not wishing that on them. I'm just saying, if news break, I got to be there. I'm going to be right on the scene. I ain't no way I'm going to be sitting that out. That's because a lot of us don't seem to get it. It's not about... Relationships are a lot about commitment and sacrifice. It's more about sacrifice than it is commitment. Sacrifice. <laughs> you have to sacrifice something that you do. Your time. Things that you have to make way. Instead of trying to jam somebody into your life. A woman to do that for a certain period of time, then that's going to end. She's not going to continuously do that. A woman is not going to consistently keep doing everything you like. Soon you're going to have to want to do something they like too. Or they're not going to want to be around you. And the longer they with you, the more they're going to expect things. They're going to have a say now. Yeah, they got to have that voice, baby. I have to have my voice. They all do it. They all do it. No, they, they don't really want a voice. A lot of them like to complain about not having a voice. Well, I date a lot. Dating is like a fill-out process. You're hanging out with somebody. You know, and somebody be like, Hey, I got a movie and a date out of it, girl. It's like... Okay, if that's what you wanted, <laughs> congratulations to you. See, that's the that's the main kicker people don't seem to get. You think small picture. And when you think small picture, you get small results. I'm somebody that think big picture all the time. Got to think big picture. Got to think next level. You got to think like that. If you don't, then why even get in a relationship? If you don't think this is someone you can have kids with, live next to, sleep next to for the rest of your life, then don't get involved. Women don't like their time wasted and neither does men. See, I like the dating phase. I have no commitments. I have no obligations. When I'm in a relationship, it's like a stranglehold. I got to remember this on this date. And I'm like, I'm trying to remember the stats from the, from the game from 2013. I got to research that game. I'm talking about that today. So I'm trying to focus on that. And she's like, don't forget that... Uh, yeah, you got to go pick this up because I need to go there and then, you know, it's the party. We got to go to their uh, dinner because she's got promoted. It's her promotion dinner. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. 
I never forget. We went to a gender reveal party. It was uh, it was like three, four parties for one baby that it wasn't even here yet. It was the sonogram party, gender reveal party. Then it was another type of party before the baby even damn here. I just find it to be quite goofy. And I said, look, I'll tend one of these. That's compromise, that's sacrifice. I'll tend one of these. I'm not going to all these. I'm like, don't they still have a baby shower or something like that? That's the one I remember. Anyway, I'm out. Is this the pickup line? Is this the pickup line? Oh, it's just the line for everything? Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're different at other places. They have like a pickup line. I don't think they had that here.